About 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, the planet lost its dinosaurs. Everyone knows that this happened because of a global catastrophe. But what happened immediately after the mass extinction? Today we're going to explore a planet that humans haven't yet set foot on. A planet that was almost destroyed by a meteor strike. Join me as we delve into the aftermath of the catastrophic event and uncover the incredible journey of survival and recovery. At the end of the Mesozoic era, the Chicxulub impactor, a massive asteroid or comet, crashed into the Earth. Scientists are still debating about its nature and size, but estimates range from 11 to 80 kilometers in diameter, roughly the size of Washington, D.C. When one edge of the asteroid hit the ground, the other end was still higher than the flight zone of a Boeing 747. Such a collision couldn't pass without a trace. The asteroid left behind a massive crater, half of which engulfed the Gulf of Mexico. The crater has a diameter of 150 kilometers that is 93 miles and a depth of about 20 kilometers that is 12 miles. The world changed in an instant. The impact triggered mega tsunamis, towering over 100 meters that is 330 feet high, which inundated the territory of modern-day Texas and Florida. Some sources even suggest heights of up to 300 meters, that is 985 feet, equivalent to the height of the Eiffel Tower. The first wave alone rose up to one and a half kilometers, that is nine-tenths of a mile tall, five Eiffel Towers. The asteroid's energy shook the planet, causing earthquakes and landslides that reverberated all the way to Argentina. This chain of horror was impossible to survive. Forests spanning thousands of kilometers, that is hundreds of miles, were obliterated in an instant. The explosion unleashed by the celestial body was approximately a hundred million times more powerful than the famous thermonuclear Tsar Bomba. It obliterated coastlines, caused 12-point earthquakes, and unleashed a cascade of landslides. This cataclysmic event marked just the beginning of the disaster. The asteroid's impact ignited the landscape within a radius of 1,500 kilometers, that is 930 miles. Even huge dinosaurs like the Diplodocus perished. Those that weren't hit by the explosion or fire were swept away by the retreating wave. Tiny particles of rock and other fragments were launched high into the atmosphere. These fragments, resembling drops of hot glass, possessed a kinetic energy equivalent to 20 million megatons of TNT. As they fell rapidly after being blown into the air, they generated intense heat, turning the Earth into a real hell. The majority of dinosaurs and terrestrial organisms in the affected area likely perished within hours from the scorching heat. The once forested planet caught fire almost instantly, resulting in the destruction of about 75% of all living things. Acid rain oxidized the oceans, while half of the plant species died immediately or within a few hours. Soot from the fires combined with dust from the impact blocked the sun's rays, plunging the earth into darkness for about a year. It was a devastating blow to the climate and the survival of many species. However, amidst the desolation, some managed to survive. The resilient few faced unimaginable challenges as they struggled to adapt to the harsh new conditions. Join us in the next episode as we witness their extraordinary fight for survival and the gradual recovery of a planet shattered by a monstrous disaster. Don't miss the next episode, where we'll uncover the untold tales of survival and witness the miraculous resurgence of life in the wake of the asteroid impact. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell to receive updates on future episodes. Stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way.